the stage broke, people were sliding off into underground, which was nothing but cables and standing water. Hey, this is One Republic, and we are answering eight questions before 8 a.m. I remember the club. Do you? I walked onto set without a mask. We filmed that at peak COVID. It was the first time we all had been together since COVID. So it was, it was over a year we hadn't seen each other. Left the trailer without a mask. Walked in and everyone went into a panic. No, get out of here. So that was, but we didn't, on the game show, I don't remember flubbing, but it, it was a couple years ago. We won. We won big time. And then when we found out all the money was going to charity, we were a little bummed. I'm just kidding. We, we, <laughs> we knew it was going to charity. <laughs> Seven days a week. Go to a meal uh, on the road is definitely like just like the biggest cheeseburger that I can find. And if there's chocolate cake around, I'll add that to it for sure. We played a show in uh, Sochi actually years ago. And <laughs> in Russia, yes. Um, and we had a stage malfunction. We were starting from underneath the stage on the circular platform and the platform was not working. It was a hydraulic stage, and half of it was like tilted, and so we were stuck down there, basically. <laughs> you just tell them what the show was for. The show was for International Kids Day, which apparently happens <laughs> once, once a year somewhere in the world, and so there were 150 countries of kids represented, like teenagers and kids, who chose us to be the performer, and then we found out, can't make this up, the, the stage broke, people were sliding off into underground which was n nothing but cables and standing water and the crew that were supposed to fix the stage were actually laughing at us yeah remember that? yeah exactly <laughs> yeah the russians were They're laughing just smoking <laughs> cigarettes down there laughing. sliding off a stage live on camera in front of millions of people with 150 countries worth of kids it was it was pretty awesome memorable moment would be um yeah recording a, an instrumental track in uh, Singapore and I was writing it um, in my hotel room because I was in a sad place missing family and just I said to Brent and we added it to the album and it's beautiful and, and, it, it's, and it feels like it's otherworldly like Singapore yeah yeah uh, yeah when I'm not raging with jealousy <laughs> um, I am not, the, the answer I would give is not remotely surprised, not remotely surprised. Um, I remember meeting Taylor at a radio show, the first one we played in 2007, where we were all basically opening for T-Pain um, because he had, want to buy me a drink, you know, and then Taylor had Love Story. We had apologized at the same time, and I literally texted her two weeks ago. Uh, we exchanged texts uh, on my birthday, and I just said, I to go from that moment where we're opening for T-Pain to you being basically as big or bigger than the Beatles is the most impressive, incredible, and nothing about it surprises me. She's the hardest working and most talented songwriter I've ever been in a room with. So, and Beyonce, I mean, come on, nothing about her success is surprising. Shifting into a country uh, genre was like a shock that I think nobody saw coming and then she bodied it, so, I mean, Hats off to, to them both. Is there a tour bus? Um, <laughs> I would say uh, some some type of water source, like a Brita or just an imaginary uh, water bottle that like fills it's itself. Off. Yeah, some type of uh, charger, like maybe something that could charge a, a phone and a computer. Got water, charge. Air con air conditioning, some some type of air conditioning unit. Uh, you can't have a bus without those three things. Yes, he loves tech and he loves music and he produces beats in all his spare time now. Um, finds tracks and records that he loves on artists that he likes and then figures out how to reproduce them from the ground up. He's starting with like hip hop, which is how I started, but he really wants to do it for now. Now he's 13, almost 14, so we'll see where it goes, but he genuinely loves it and wants to do it. 
One Republic. Guys, what's your favorite movie? Listen. Or any recommendations on TV shows? I know your favorite movie, Interstellar. Interstellar is my favorite movie by yeah. far. What's yours, Zach? I don't know. That's a good one. I'm not going to add to that. That's great. That is a good one. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, Jurassic Park. Probably. The Goonies. Yeah, for me, most watched movie of all time would be Goonies. Favorite movie of the last 20 years, though, Step Brothers. I mean, two, right? Godfather 2? Actually. Mm. Sure. Maggie. Our question is, with all the times we've toured through Maryland, and we've done quite a few times, um, we can never decide where to go to get the best crab cakes and the best crab in general. So I want the ultimate Maryland, here's where you go for crab. Like, where do we go? Where do we go? We're lost without you, Maggie. So please help us. Give us that crab list. Drop a pin in a crab spot. Uh, cheers to hell. To Mary on the Hill. Mary on the Hill and Blue Curacao with Sky Vodka in the morning. Mm. 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 That's rough. Uh, smells good. <laughs>